59. Today, join the Belize Defense Force. Friends and families gathered at the Sir Colville Young Parade Square at Price Barracks in Ladyville to bear witness as the recruits matriculate into the rank and file of the BDF. They assembled in um, October, for October last year, and um, they have undergone their, their basic training requirement. They have met that requirement, and we have um, four officer candidates and and. The um, 83 total um, recruits we have passing out today. The 83 new BDF soldiers represent some of the best, as they are the ones who passed the skill tests after a large group dwindled since they started basic training. When they um, arrive here as civilian, um, the, the first six weeks of their training is the regimentation, which is the most rigorous part of the training, where we introduce them to garrison life. Um, they are required to, to drill. They, there's a high level of physical demand on them. This is the, actually the phase where a lot of people um, actually go home. And we start off with like 149, and today 83 actually uh, make that cut um, to pride themselves as serving member of the Belize Defense Force. So just how rigorous was the training? They had to endure weeks of intensive tests of skills in tactics, arms, military communication, and discipline. They are required to be up as early as 3.30 in the morning. They um, go through a lot of sleep deprivation. And um, they have to do foot drill, rifle drills. They have to do um, uh, a lot of tactics in terms of the, the lessons that are required. Um, for our solar the Belize Defense Force to know. And they also have to um, they have to go to range. They have to shoot. Um, they do a lot of long road march, a lot of physical strenuous activity. And um, each phase of this training has new challenges. And um, now they're actually at the peak, you know, of um, of their development from a recruit to a private solar where we could say yes they have qualified they have met the requirement and now they can join um, a unit and be employed in that professional capacity and you believe all of this has adequately prepared them for life with the force oh yes yes that is what it is all about to, to, to ensure that when um, when they left from training company we said that they are qualified um, as a private solar, then we are, we are, we, are, uh, we know that they are competent to to be employed. So, what's next for these new soldiers? Well, um, they they go on a two weeks mandatory leave um, to to um, regain themselves, and then after that, they're posted out to the infantry battalion where they will be employed um, in their unit. You know, as riflemen or, or as um, their, their tasks require them. Some of them have specialist skills that they will more than likely go right into after pass out. Reporting for News 5, I'm Andrea Polanco.